In this tutorial, we'll take on the role of a workbook author and learn how to add a new column when preparing a data set in Oracle Fusion Data Intelligence, or FDI. Adding a new column allows me to extend the way I analyze my data by calculating a new column based on data that already exists in my data set. In this example, I want to add a discounted price column in my order lines data set. With my data set in the transform editor, I'll click the add preparation step icon to add a column. In the create column area, I'll enter a name and an expression to define the column. There are also functions and operators available to help me write that logic. I can find any function or operator and click on it to view a description of what it does. Since I'm creating a new column for a discounted price, I'll name it discounted price. It will be calculated as the gross unit price minus a discount. I'll begin typing gross unit price. I'll want to select the suggested name instead of typing it in full, or else it won't be properly referenced. Next, I'll type a dash or minus and begin to type discount to select it from the drop down menu. I'll select validate to ensure my syntax is correct for this calculation, and once the validation has finished, I'll click add step. Now, discounted price is added to my dataset for me to use in my analysis. I'll select save to make this new column reusable. If I want to edit or remove this column, I can use the steps menu on the script preparation panel and select any of those operations. Now that I've added a new column, I can create more tailored metrics to support better decision making. Find additional videos and more information on using Fusion Data Intelligence resources in the links below.